Good Saturday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team bringing you an update on the tropics. And we are still tracking a number of systems. We've still got our eyes on Lee, which is now a post-tropical cyclone. And that just basically means it's lost all of its tropical characteristics. But don't get me wrong, this is still a pretty significant storm system, especially for areas in the northeast northeastern United States, excuse me, and the Canadian Maritimes as well. Still got our eyes on Tropical Storm Margo, newly formed Tropical Depression 15, and now a tropical wave currently off the coast of Africa. So here is the latest on Lee. Maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour, moving to the north at 22 miles per hour. There is going to be potential for a landfall sometime later today. I don't think it's going to be a landfall in the United States, but most likely for the province of Nova Scotia in Canada. Like I mentioned, it's still a pretty significant storm system. You can see the strong tropical storm wind gusts that it's producing for areas like Cape Cod, the coast of Maine, and the Canadian Maritimes, including Nova Scotia and New Brunswick as well. And then on top of that, we're still dealing with quite a bit of some rough surf associated with this system. You can see areas along the east coast, and as you head further to the center of Lee, those wave heights are going to vary. So I think for the east coast, most of those wave heights will be anywhere from 7 to 9 uh, feet along the east coast and then a little bit higher closer to the center anywhere from 15 foot to 20 foot waves as the heads closer to making landfall most likely in Nova Scotia so again a high risk of rip currents and some rough surf are going to be possible for those areas for at least a little while longer moving out into the open Atlantic we still have tropical storm Margo maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour and that's pretty much what where it's going to stay and continue to weaken over the next couple of days we also have Tropical Depression 15, which did form yesterday. It will most likely become a tropical storm either sometime later today or tomorrow at the latest. The next name on the list is Nigel, so we could have Tropical Storm Nigel over the next 24 hours. And it will continue to strengthen most likely to a hurricane as we head into the new work week. As of right now, it does not pose a threat to the United States. And last but not least, we have this small little tropical wave off the coast of Africa with a low chance of development. Still plenty of time to watch the this system over the next couple of days. Well, don't forget, you can head on over to WKRG.com and click on the weather tab, and we have our interactive hurricane map room. That's where you can track all the storms that we're also tracking, but you can also find valuable and resourceful information as the hurricane season goes along.